Okay, so what are we going to look at today, Steve? Well, I've got a few frozen peeler crab here, so we'll uh, show how to do a peeler crab. And if this doesn't work particularly well, we'll do another one in the spring when there's live peeler crabs. Yeah. But uh, we'll try this one. Um, so we take the shell off. Take the border shell off. Looks like it's peeling okay. Yeah, it's not doing too bad. We get we get an idea anyway. Get all the shell off from underneath. It's falling a bit, a little bit, but we we can do it. I'm sure, we can do it. And again, you can um, pull the legs off. But you can stuff these inside the squid parcels as mm. well, or the envelopes. Yeah, it's a bit flat. And then I take my scissors and I cut almost all the way through. So the bait becomes like that. And get the hook and then just work it backwards and forwards or through the crab. If there's any extra shells you find you can pull it off. So it's on there like that and then once again you get the baiting elastic. And I use my little tool so I've got something to press the crab against. And then I just whip it up. Now this one's this crab was about the size that, that would be the smallest that I would do on its own. So what I do with this one is if this one appealed as well. I'd also use the legs on a on a on a fresh one. What, peel and the legs claws, on? peel the legs and claws, just tap them with a stone on the beach and then you can peel all the bits and pieces off but okay. the frozen ones probably won't happen. It's not watching that one. Let's try this one. And this is the same with fresh peeler crabs. If you've got small ones, you just put two together. Mm -hmm. Put that piece on the top of there. So you're not putting the hook through anything there, or you're just, no, just, just whipping, it, whipping it straight on the top of the uh, of the one that's already through. Mm. And again, just a little half hitch, twist the elastic, put it over the top, and it pulls itself free. And slide it off. And there's a, a lovely bait for wrasse, bass, smooth hand, mm. uh, flounders, whatever you'd like catch in your area with peeler crab. It's, it's a bit it's like squid isn't it? It's, most fish will eat it. Yeah, yeah, everybody will have a go at that. Mm. And that's it. Excellent. So there you go. That's how we how we rig up with a bit of peeler crab. Um, we will do a video in the summer using fresh peeler crabs. Um, it's pretty much the same idea but you might it might just be a slightly better video. Uh, but uh, you know, a bit of frozen peeler crab. I'd, I'd, would you fish with frozen peeler crab this time of the year, Steve? Uh, yeah, if it was it, if I had, had it in my um, in my freezer and I didn't have fresh lug or uh, uh, fish or squid baits, it's always worth always worth a try. It's the scent that comes yeah. out of it that you want. Mm. Um, if I was fishing uh, up the Bristol Channel, I would certainly stuff frozen peel a crab into a the squid tube like we were doing earlier. Mm. That's a that that work up there. Uh, happy to fish with it anywhere really. Mm. You have to be it's like with all your baits, you have to be confident with it. Yeah. I mean when I go and fish Gravesend, always have peel a crab with me up there. And I feel confident using it. Yeah. And uh, the best bass I've had out is five pound ten I think mm. from Gravesend. Lots of flounders, 
Um, I mean, it used to it used to be the bass bait that everybody used yeah. to use, peeler crabs in the summer for bass. But it seems to have, been, my experience, and maybe I'm wrong here, everyone wants it for for smooth hounds, but they don't tend to fish for bass with it so much. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, it depends if you're specialising for bass, yeah. and you'll you know, especially down here, you go up the rocks, and mm. crabs are brilliant bait to have. Yeah. Um, the smooth hounds. Two years ago. You couldn't get enough peeler crabs because that's all they were taking. Mm. Last year they started off on peeler crab and then they went to lug and rag. Mm. And we were all getting peeler crabs and actually you, your lug rod or your rag, especially rag, mm. was getting hit better. Mm. And then they went on to squid and people yeah. were getting them on the squid. Yeah, I mean we had one on the boat um, at the end of the season on, on squid, uh, about eight pounder. Um, yeah. yeah, nice. I mean, Tony was saying on the last video I did with him that, that, that surprisingly, they seem to have moved on a lugworm, as you say, uh, which was unheard of, but, yep. you know, it's weird, isn't it? Fish's taste, fish tastes change. Okay, great. Fantastic. Right.